Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am sharing with you my evening routine on a weeknight. This is technically a Friday night, so this is kind of what I do, um, even though it's technically the weekend. This is kind of how I de-stress from the week and get things done, so I just figured I would jump right into this video. So first step first, if you will, I am heading into the bathroom just to basically prepare for my chill night. I'm grabbing my wet brush and I'm combing out those big curls that I had. I'm on day four here, so I've had enough of it and I'm about to slap it up in a messy pony on top of my head as we prepare for this chill evening. I'm clearly excited about it. Step two is showing you guys what I'm using for my music app as of late. This is the app called Musi, M-U-S-I. It's a Canadian app. It was on Dragon's Den. And it basically allows you to search YouTube for whatever music you want, and it's free. Tonight I went for Chandelier by Sia, and I also went for Shout Out to My Ex by Little Mix. I just didn't show it here. Up next, we're going to prepare for what could possibly be the best part of the evening. This is my favorite part of the evening. This is my Sephora Black Magic Cloth. I'm just getting the temperature of the water to the heat that I like it. I am dampening my cloth and I'm literally going to remove my makeup with just this cloth and some water. There's no product whatsoever on this. So to start, I'm just starting in circular motions, starting at my forehead and working my way around the perimeter of my face. I do like to remove my foundation first. Now, please don't leave the water running. I do try to save money on my hydro and everything. so. You don't really need to re-dampen the cloth. This will just do it all in one go. So as I was saying, I take off my foundation first and then I work my way into the eyebrow and then the eyelid. My eyelid obviously has the darkest makeup as it has eyeliner and mascara on it. So I would recommend just gently rubbing this and it will remove all of the black stuff you have on your eyes. This works really well. I never wake up with raccoon eyes. And it's really a great effective way to not put any chemical on your skin for this portion of your skincare routine. It really does leave your skin feeling clean. Up next, we are going to open up the pores on my face by using the Garnier Skin Active Clean Plus Impurities Eliminating Scrub. This is for oily skin. It has charcoal in it. And I'm literally just going to grab a dime size amount, put it in my hand, and start working it into my skin in circular motions and just distributing it evenly around my T-zone and wherever I am the most oily throughout the day. I've been using this rather regularly here lately in my skincare routine and I'm seeing a major difference in my breakouts and in the redness on my face as the weeks progress. Now I'm just going to rinse that off with the Magic Cloth from Sephora again. I have rinsed it out since I last used it, so there's hardly any makeup left on it at this point. Now we're getting ready for the dreaded hair washing, but this is what I like to call the pre-shower Fitbit workout. So I'm getting some steps in while dancing and rocking out to shout out to my ex by Little Mix here. Yes, I do use the brush as a microphone, and I rather enjoy the experience. This just pumps me up and gets me ready for the task I hate the most, which is the washing of the hair, friends. I didn't take the time to show you what I used to wash my hair. It was just the Tresemme Keratin Smooth line. And I used all sorts of Lush products on my body, but I didn't see the point in going through my shower routine because you guys have seen it before. I'm just giving it here, getting those steps in, working it out. Once we're done the shower, we're going to hop out with a towel on our head and really get into this spa night routine. I am doing a face mask. This is the Freeman Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. This makes you look like a Smurf. I know I'm not in focus in this shot, but I promise in about 10 seconds we'll be back in focus. I just put a thick layer of this all over my skin and I leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes until it gets like really crusty and the clay is starting to crack off my face. So then once that's done, I start rubbing it off in light circular motions with lukewarm water. My skin is always a little red after a face mask, but this seriously leaves your skin feeling insanely soft, silky, smooth. I've seen a big difference in my skin since I've started incorporating this into my routine. This was actually recommended to me by the lovely Brit. As you guys know, she's my mainlander bay, and she has a music channel, so I will leave her channel in the description box down below. Go give her a subscribe because she's all kinds of awesome. Once we get our face mask off, though, we're going to tone. This is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. I love this stuff. I just put two to three spritzes on my face to tone my skin. 
then we're going to chill out for a bit and move into the bedroom because on Friday nights I usually edit videos for you guys with dripping wet hair while I eat toast and coffee. Sometimes it's cereal and coffee, but tonight it was toast with a bit of jam on it. I was waiting for Blue Bloods to come on, but I usually do a lot of my editing in the evening times, mostly Friday nights or in, on Saturday mornings at the crack of dawn. Those are my two editing times, to be honest. Once the editing is done, we are going to get on FaceTime with Brit because she always entertains me while I do my hair. And then we're just literally going to flat iron my hair. I do use heat protectant. I section it off in six pieces and I do this in the evening so that way, A, I don't have to go to bed with wet hair and B, it's already straightened for the morning so I'm ready to go. I have very thick hair and it takes forever to style. It takes me about 20 minutes to straighten my hair. So I do like to kind of skip steps in the morning if I can so I can do other things. Once that this is done, we're going to take Brit into the bathroom again because this is what I usually do. And we're going to keep talking to her on FaceTime, but I'm going to grab my Clarisonic Mia 2 and I am going to distribute the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cleanser all over my face. Just in case I missed any dirt through any other of the steps that I did this evening, I'm just making sure I get it all with the Clarisonic. I use my Clarisonic twice a day when I get up in the morning and before bed and this really has helped my skin improve on so many levels. I'm not as oily anymore, my breakouts are nowhere near as bad as they used to be and I'm just really, really focused on taking care of my skin. This is great. It's I use the oily skin brush but I don't find it too harsh on my skin whatsoever. I would recommend picking up a Clarisonic if you don't have one in your skincare regimen. Then I want to wash all of this off my face and just sort of chill out and get ready to call it quits. So once I'm done cleansing, I basically just slap on a moisturizer and get ready for bed. So with all of that being said, my friends, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Expand that description box down below so you can subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel and all of my social media is there as well. Until next time, friends, bye!